Okay, so Ring It Girls is an NGO uh, which aim is to empower women and girls to be architects of the future. And by architects of the future, we mean those who are creating our world, how it will operate, how it will um, grow in the future. And we believe that technology is the driving force already today, but even more so it will be in the next upcoming years and uh, decades and, and most probably centuries. So those who will be creating the, f the future will be those who are creating technology, who are working in all different kinds of fields of technology. And we believe that women constituting part, half of the society, need to be part of this future creators. Um, so another reason why we exist here in Latvia is that um, there are uh, a lot of talent, there's a lot of talent missing in the technology field, in the IT industry. And according to some uh, projections, until 2025, we're supposedly going to miss at least 20,000 technology talent here in Latvia. And we know that this gap will not be filled by those coming from the universities because there's not even that much of youth uh, graduating, uh, especially in the tech field. And we know that we ne we'll need to fill this gap somehow. So we believe that women considering their future career, changing their career, learning digital skills is the way how we can start filling this gap. And um, we know that there is a lot of opportunity for this because only 22.7% of the whole IT workforce are women currently here in Latvia. So there's definitely room for growth. Um, and what we do with Riga Tech Girls, we try to provide equal opportunities for everyone. We're not talking about um, any gender being better or um, needing more uh, opportunity, but we want to create these equal opportunities. And we believe that currently these equal opportunities are missing because a lot of the technology world has been built by uh, a specific type of uh, person. And when we walk into rooms uh, that are all um, very homogeneous, uh, filled with homogeneous uh, people, it's hard to be diverse in this room, and it's hard to work on diverse solutions in teams like that. Um, we also know that in Latvia, technology is a big part of our everyday lives. We have great um, internet connection. We have a lot of opportunities in using the technology. But we, what we want to do with Riga Tech Girls is we want to make technology consumers into technology creators, because that, those are the people who will be building the future. Um, and we do that by organizing our community, uh, by um, developing digital skills in all ages and um, in all parts of the society. We create networking, networking events for women and we share their job opportunities. So we try to build this safe place where women can come together, learn from each other, share their experience. And this conference is a part of that as well because women who have already achieved great things will be talking today and will be sharing their experience. Um, a huge program of ours is a combination of Discover Tech education program. And I know that there are many here in the audience from the Discover Tech program. And I hope that many are also watching online. So thank you, Discover Tech participants. You inspire us. Um, this year we had almost 6,000 registered for this program. And it's so inspiring to work with such a great audience and community. And the next step after the Discover Tech program, what we provide is a mentorship program, um, which we'll be asking for you to apply in the upcoming month. And please um, consider this and, uh, and apply to be a mentee or a mentor, um, because growing ourselves 
requires supporting others. If we only try to, to develop ourselves by developing our own inner skills, it's not a good enough development. So I encourage everyone who feels something in themselves that is urging to support others, become mentors. Uh, the applications for the mentor program for mentors is still open until October 20. And uh, you can get the link in our website, rigatechgirls.com. Um, we're also organizing scholarships and trainings in tech skills. And one of the programs is called She Goes Tech, uh, where we have already provided more than 500 scholarships for women to study uh, coding or programming or development or DevOps. And uh, we will be opening the next She Goes Tech season applications also in November. So um, stay tuned and follow on that. On that. Um, next year, we're also going to organize our hackathon as we do it every year. Uh, in March, we celebrate the month um, that is celebrating women achievement. And we are doing that by organizing a hackathon and providing this opportunity to women to tr try their skills at uh, developing a new idea. Um, we will also be organizing regular uh, open meetups for anyone to join and you'll be able to, to follow them and join them online on our Facebook page. And we also uh, create workshops that let you test your skills at some technical um, opportunity. Uh, so follow, follow that as well. So up until now, um, it's actually uh, almost six years since Rigatagral started operating. And uh, we have had more than 100 workshops, 33 meetups, and 50, more than 50 other events that we've been part of or that we've been organizing. And we're very happy that now with the online presence, we can reach a, t a large target audience also outside of Riga. And we've counted that we've reached more than 30,000 participants during this time. And uh, if you know a company who wants to reach more women, who wants to get women um, interested in work with, working with them or uh, partnering in some other way, you can be part of our movement as well. We're inviting you to join us and to su support us uh, in many different ways. So just reach out to me or uh, rigatagirls at uh, gmail.com, and uh, we'll, we'll be very happy to partner up. Um, and I also want to thank our team greatly, because nothing of the, nothing of the um, events that we organize, of the programs that we create, would be possible without the support of our team. And I know that here we have Marina, who is making photos, and we have Irina, whose picture somehow disappeared, but she will be on the stage, so you will, you will definitely uh, be able to see her. And Aline, our, our co-founder, will be also here today on the stage uh, talking about her experience as a developer. And um, there are many more in our team, and I'm thanking everyone greatly. Um, your efforts and your support is so, so important to us. Even those who are not on this uh, screen, because there are many more. <laughs> um, so from my side, thank you. Um, thank you for coming here. Thank you for being uh, here to support us, to share your experience. And I wish you to have a great day of development, of growth within yourself. Listen to the amazing women who will be stepping up on the stage and talking about how they have reached uh, the heights or um, how, what, what are the hurdles that they have been going through and learn from them uh, because we are here to be as a community and support each other. That will be all from my side. I will be inviting the moderator of this stage today, Laoma Seela from TechChill, also at Riga Tech Girl. So uh, let's give her a hand.